Hi, I'm Alex and welcome back to the Boathouse Paddle series where we talk about everything concerning paddle. Today's question is what do I need to do before I apply for a paddle account or before I verify a new domain or subdomain? This is based on our complete guide to paddle payments which is available at help.boathouse.co. If you scroll to the bottom to our starter guides you'll find getting started with paddle. Now on the one hand you need to prepare your business which basically means are you selling something that paddle allows? If you're a digital product seller or a SaaS, most likely yes. If you want to look at the details, check the acceptable use policy that Paddle provides or our guide here. But more importantly, what do you need to do? What do you need to add to your website that you'll be submitting for Paddle verification? For this, click the prepare the website item and you'll see the five main things that you need to have on this page. Now, this is both for the marketing website that you apply with initially and probably the SaaS subdomain that you're applying for. If that SaaS subdomain does not have this information or it's behind authentication, for example, you might have to explain that to Paddle to get verified, but it's probably easier just to add these to the SaaS subdomain as well. First thing should be obvious, explain what your product is. If you're using language that is very much for your target group and might not everyone might understand it, you'll have to explain to Paddle and you'll, you'll get a verification email first saying you haven't been verified and then you just explain your product in a second step. Add a contact page with a email address and phone number and then have the three legal documents. You need a terms and conditions page, you need a privacy policy page and a refund policy. Whereas the refund policy can be part of your terms and conditions. But you have, if you have links to all of those from the domain that you're applying with or submitting for verification, then you should be fine and go through verification with no problem and you can start selling on that domain. Thanks for watching.